75 in decimal corresponds to 01001011 in binary. Now we can convert this to two's complement by first getting the one's complement, which is 10110100 ones complement. And then we can convert it to two's complement by adding one. So we have one zero one one zero one zero one. This is two's complement. And is the two's complement representation for negative seventy five. So it's useful to be able to switch from a positive number to a negative number, and so this is an operation that a computer will sometimes perform. Now it's also useful to switch from a negative to a positive, and this is done by simply reversing the process. So remember that to get the two's complement we added one. Well, if we want to go from a negative number to its positive form, we would first subtract 1 and be left with 10110100. One, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, which is the one's complement. We subtracted 1. And then if we complement each of these bits, we get back to the original binary representation of the positive value. And so this is, once again, positive 75 in decimal. So if we want to convert from positive to negative, we simply take the two's complement and if we want to convert from negative to positive, we subtract one and then invert all the bits, essentially doing these steps in reverse. Another important operation with two's complement that you must know how to do is basic arithmetic. Now, if two numbers are positive, then adding them is the same as regular binary arithmetic. But what if one or two are negative? Let's consider negative 15, which is in decimal, plus 25. Now we know that the answer to this is 10. But let's see how this works out when using two's complement number representations the two's complement representation of negative 15 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. You should be able to confirm this on your own based on the content in the previous modules. The binary representation of positive 25 is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. We will be adding these numbers. This one is positive and this one is negative, but that's not really relevant to the computer when it's adding numbers. It simply does binary arithmetic. So here, 1 plus 1 is 2, 0, 1 goes there. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 2 again, 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 2 again, and 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 2, which puts an extra bit over here, but this is an overflow bit. Now, if we were adding two positive numbers and we had an overflow bit, 
it would be problematic. But when we're adding a positive and a negative, it's not a problem, so we ignore it. And if we look at this result, ignoring the overflow bit, then we see that this is 8 plus 2, which is indeed, indeed equal to 10. So adding a negative and positive number worked out fine in this example. Let's look at example of adding two negative numbers. Negative 20 decimal plus negative 35. Now once again, we can compute the, exam the result in advance so we know what we should get. This should come out to negative 55. To do this calculation, we need to know the two's complement representations of each of these numbers. And once again, you should be able to do that conversion on your own. But if you don't want to pause, they come out to these values. 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 for negative 20. And 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 for negative 35. Now, I'm adding two negative numbers, but all I do is regular binary addition. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So 1 here and 1 there. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 2. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So I have 1 here and 1 there. And then 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, 1 there. And then the overflow bit. But, once again, it's ignored. It is not an issue. And if we look at this remaining number here, it is indeed the 2's complement representation of negative 55, something that you should go ahead and confirm on your own. Now let's see an example where overflow does matter. Let's add... 100 to 30. Now we are using 8-bit integers. We know that this result should be 130, but this is greater than 127, which is the highest number we can represent using only 8 bits in 2's complement representation. That's because the magnitude only uses 7 bits. So if we put the binary values of each of these numbers, which are 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, are decimal. So if we add these, then we get 0, 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, so there, then 2 again, 2 again, 2 again, and then 2 again, 1 there. So here we didn't exactly have overflow, but what we do what we do have is a result of opposite sign. In two's complement number representation, this is actually negative 126. Now we don't know, need to know the exact value. We just need to know that it's negative because the sign bit is a one. 
So the computer knows that if it adds two positive numbers and gets a negative number, then overflow occurred and that's a problem. Likewise, if it adds two negative numbers and gets a positive number, overflow occurred and that is a bad problem again. However, when numbers of the same sign are added and we get a number with that same sign, then there's no problem. And if numbers of different sign are added, then we also don't need to worry.